and less than four weeks from election day, a new Marquette Law School poll just out today is showing the gap widening in the U.S. Senate race. While the race for governor is a toss up among likely voters, 47 percent and support the incumbent, the Democratic Governor Tony Evers, 46 behind the Republican challenger Tim Michaels. Likely voters, Ron Johnson supported by 52 percent, Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, the choice of 46 percent in September among those likely voters. Johnson had 49 and Barnes 48. But for many voters, the real focus is on the issues, not the candidates. Katie Crowther breaks down what that poll and the people say is most important to them. Inflation, public schools and gun violence are the top three issues voters are quote very concerned about, according to the latest Marquette University Law School poll. That mirrors what I found in talking to a wide range of people throughout southeast Wisconsin. I see a lot of people downtown. Um, they're just struggling. 22 year old Gregory Harris is among those who want to hear more real solutions to inflation and economic challenges. They're never saying what they're actually going to do or what they're planning to do. They're only saying what they want to do or what they if you vote for me, I can promise I can do this, but they never actually come to fruition. 63 year old retiree, mother and grandmother Valerie Bach shares that frustration. Her biggest concern is about the quality of our schools. We have kids who've been through the ringer these last two years, and I, I have friends with kids in school, and there's just a lot of adjustment everybody has to do to get back on track. Crime and gun violence has impacted Sergio Zarazoga's small business. He moved out of Milwaukee because of it. The environment in, in Milwaukee City is, is hard. Too much guns, too much drugs, too much people, dangerous, dangerous people. What people view as our city, state, and country's biggest issues will always vary by life experience. But we noticed one commonality. Every voter we talked with indicates some level of disconnect between real people and political candidates. I'm not sure who they're talking to. I feel like we're just overlooked because of our age range. And that could be the real concern as Election Day quickly approaches. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. Still undecided in the race for U.S. Senate? You'll want to tune in tomorrow night. The candidates, Republican incumbent Ron Johnson, Democratic challenger Mandela Barnes, face to face. Charles Benson, Shannon Sims, your moderators. It all starts 6 o'clock right here on TMJ4.